All right, guys, we got uh, we got freshman guard Devin Askew here for you. Um, as always, we'll use the uh, raise hands feature to take questions. Uh, we're going to start off here with John Hale and then Christos. You will be after him. Go ahead, John. Devin, just how has the season for you gone so far? Obviously, there's been a lot of attention on your play. Just what's your confidence level like and, and kind of how have you dealt with these first, you know, five games? Uh, we just move on to the next game, go game by game. Um, my confidence level within myself is always high. I know what I can do. I know what I'm able to do. Um, yeah, we've had some rough games in the past, and, and but we're getting better every day in practice, and we're ready to show it in this next game. We'll go to you and then Jerry after that. Just a reminder, guys, I will put players keep it open if you got a follow up. Hello, Devin. I would like to ask you after the four straight uh, losses, how big, how big challenge for you is to bounce back against North Carolina? And also, I would like a comment about uh, Keonde Johnson of uh, Florida. I'm, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I didn't hear you. Yeah, uh, how big challenge for you is uh, the game against uh, North Carolina after the loss? Yes, not to them. And also, I would like a comment from you about uh, Guillonde, who collapsed on the floor some days um, ago. This this, uh, this upcoming game is just another game, um, another game in our in our schedule. Um, we prepare for it just like any other game, but we're we're ready this time. And uh, Keontae Johnson, that's sad. Sad to see any basketball player go through go through what he's going through right now. And uh, it just it just. It helps me focus on like the bigger picture. Um, basketball is just a sport we play. Our lives are more important. Okay, Jerry Tipton, you got next. Kyle Tucker will be after him. Yeah, Devin, what was it like to? Uh, I'm assuming you guys were preparing for UCLA, and then uh, the switch. <laughs> it's kind of unusual. What What was that like for you guys? Oh, I mean, Coach. Uh, I mean, coach prepares us for it, for every game and he prepares us the right way. And he doesn't always like when we're, when we're preparing for a game, it's not always just like everything for one team that week that we're preparing. It's throughout the whole season of what we're going to face. And to be honest, it, it was just a little slight change and, and we're ready. All right, Kyle Tucker, we'll go with you next. And John, you'll be back to you. Devin, sorry if, the, if this was one of the first questions I stepped out for a second. Um, but what what has been the biggest maybe surprise to you about, you know, the challenge of college basketball? Has there been anything um, that was harder than you thought? And, and how have you kind of adjusted since you've gotten, a, you know, a few games to see it now? Um, honestly, it's it's nothing with the opposing, like, like what's different. It's just all – it's all mental. The, the game is all mental um, and you just have, you have to have like a strong mentality and that's it. But um, we're learning every day and we're getting stronger, including myself. Um, yeah. All right, John Hale, come back to you. John Long, you'll be next. Devin, just what's the biggest change in your role now that Terrence is playing with the ball in his hands a little bit more? I mean, I'm doing the same thing. So I, I can still be a point guard. I can still be a guard off the ball. And Terrence is a, is a great point guard. And when he gets subbed out, I go to the point guard role. It's just a, it gives me a chance to get off the ball and um, kind of see the court in a different, in a different area. And, and then yeah, I, I like it. And then I don't know if we'll talk to you again before next week. So as a guy who was, who was down between Kentucky and Louisville in the recruiting process, does that game mean any, any more to you next week? Uh, I don't really pay attention to that other school. I'm here right now. I'm at Kentucky. <laughs> Long, you got next. Jerry, I'll circle back to you. Hi, Devin. You talked about having a strong mentality. And before you signed on here at Kentucky, you knew that the fans were really into it and very passionate about it. Do you hear a lot of the chatter that's going on out there about point guard play? And, and how have you responded to that? No, nah, I don't hear about it. Um, but I know there's some chatter going on. I mean, that chatter, I mean, the negative chatter, those aren't really fans of ours. Um, that's what we know. Our fans of ours are always going to stick with us. So all the negative stuff, they're not with us. We keep moving forward as a team and people that are with us. And that's who we carry along with us. 
Yeah, you, you seem to be such a positive person. I look at you and even if you're struggling out there, you got a smile on your face, you're working hard. You know, where, where does that come from? Where, what part of your personality did you get that from? Um, just never showing weakness. I mean, always staying positive and, and what next play mentality, what can you do to help your team, even if you're not out there? Yeah, Devin, I wondered uh, what what was the bus ride back from Atlanta like? Was it an overnight thing or a, I guess you got back early morning? What uh, what was that like? And how do you feel about flying to Cleveland rather than another bus ride? That bus ride to Atlanta was rough. That's six hours. And we're just I mean, it's not much you can do on a bus, but sit there and watch movies and, and interact with your teammates. <laughs> um, but your legs get all swollen and stuff. It's six hours of not moving, really. Um, but that, I mean, if we could have flown, I would rather fly, I'd rather fly anywhere. But um, yeah, that's that was that. I mean, on the way back, we all just slept. We were tired. <laughs> and one other, one other thing about Keontae, I wonder if there's any sort of apprehension about playing when you see in the COVID time a player go down like that. Yeah, I mean, it's scary. Um, what what the world saw with him, it, it's scary. I mean, none of us really know a whole lot about COVID. We just know it's a, a dangerous virus and it can cause harm to people. But um, it's scary. I mean, we just got to be cautious and be careful with this whole COVID thing. Wear a mask at all times and to try to prevent it. Wash your hands, do everything you can. Go ahead. Yeah, Devin, you talked about the biggest adjustment to the college game is, is the mental. But I would imagine in high school, you could get by with doing things on the floor, moves, certain things that it's a lot harder to get by in college now. How much is that a learning process, not just for you, but for all of the freshmen? Um, I wouldn't say it's hard because, like, as players, all of us can still do that. But it's within our system of the way coach is coaching us. He's teaching us to play basketball the right way. So all those moves don't matter. We don't need all those moves. And we try to prevent doing those and keeping it simple and attacking the lane um, off one dribble, two dribbles, and going in straight lines and being on balance, getting jump stops and uh, making open shots. So it's, it's really just teaching us the right way to play basketball, and we're adjusting to that. Um, it's a process. And we're, we're going through it right now, but we're getting better every day at it. Um, and I think at the, in the end of it, we're going to be a great team. Go ahead. If we don't have the others, we'll leave it at that. Okay. Devin, you had a great uh, second half against Notre Dame. How big boost you get from that uh, that uh, second half? And also, what uh, different we were going to see on a uh, game against North Carolina? Uh, you asked about the second half of the yes. Notre Dame game? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Um, that game gave us a lot of confidence and, and shows how we can, we can play um, with a lot of energy and fight. I mean, a lot of people say that we don't fight. But the second half, I mean, it just proves to us and ourselves, we don't really want to, we don't have to prove anything to anyone else, but it proves to us that we can fight and we can be that team that Kentucky usually is. Um, and it just gives us, it gave us a lot of energy after the game. I mean, even though we lost, a lot of us were still up because it's like, wow, like we can keep going off of this and this is who we are that, that based off that second half. 